Hi, everyone. So we are very glad to have one of the early stories, uh, June Exploration Space in the gold and silver space. Uh, one of the companies that we start covering recently, the CEO of the company, Regardia Gold. The CEO is Rajit Sun here for, for us today to join us for the interview. How are you doing, Rajit? Hi, Gilbert. I'm doing just fine. How are you doing today? Doing great. Uh, uh, weather's nice. Uh, we're in Vancouver too, so uh, I hope we enjoy good weather. And let us begin with just uh, introducing yourself, your background of your story. You tell us a bit about sure. Sure. Um, I've been in the resource and public market space for about 30 years, I would say. Started relatively young. And I've been fortunate enough to put a couple of mines into production and sell some of our junior mining companies. So familiar with what's going on. Uh, our sector, as you know, is very cyclical. Sometimes hard work pays off and sometimes it doesn't. Six months ago, we realized that we're going to get into a really strong precious metals market. And we put our team together and all of our expertise. And now we're on to something fantastic we're going to discuss today. Great to hear. Uh, maybe you can start off by talking about a bit about your flagship project, Picachos, in Mexico. Uh, do you, I understand there are some close proximity for some of the active projects uh, in the region, too? So maybe you can tell me, uh, tell us about the, the details. Sure. Uh, a little bit of background of how we acquired it first. Uh, as you progress your career, you want to do things simpler, easier, and more efficiently. So you, you learn a lot about projects with infrastructure, power, social, grades, whatnot. So we looked at over 100 projects focusing in BC, Nevada, and Mexico. And we ended up with our Picachos project we announced last month. Uh, the project, little did we know when we did the deal, we did the deal on the project based on grade, quality of the asset, ability to advance it, which we can discuss. But very quickly after it, the state of Sinaloa in Mexico, where we are located, became the hottest state on the, in the world, I believe, for junior exploration. Just north of us is a company called Vizla. They had a, had a discovery, and their market cap went from, I believe, about $15 million to $150 million. Just south of us, 20 kilometers away, a company called GR Silver, uh, very similar, some some success, and they're now about a $100 million market cap. So you have us, Brigadier Gold, our Picachos project, right in the middle with a $15 million Canadian market cap with essentially some of the same model they've used, which is historical workings, fantastic grade, and let's go drill underneath it and establish a maiden resource and show the market and the industry that the grade of the gold and the silver is economic. Good to know. Yeah, some of our audience may also know because uh, of the Visla. We actually covered the story back in uh, starting in March earlier. So they're uh, maybe familiar with the region too. So maybe you uh, can also share with us because recently you have the, in the press release, you're preparing your first uh, exploration program. Maybe you can share uh, with us some of the details of it. Okay. Yes, fantastic, I, I will. Your audience is familiar with Vizsla. Let's just, for simplicity's sake, call us the next Vizsla. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we are going to move just as fast as they did. We opened up a private placement at 26 cents a few weeks ago for three and a half million dollars. Within two hours, we had $10 million worth of orders from some of the smartest resource money out there banking on we're the next Vizsla and learning more about our project through our press release and then phone call. So a tremendous amount of market interest institutional. So now we're sitting on a good treasury of approximately 3.5 million in the treasury. We've, we're gonna aggressively move the project forward because in this market, our shareholders will be rewarded. That being, uh, the project has 150 small underground mine operations, lots of adits and shafts, lots of geochemistry, lots of mapping, which for the investor means we know where to drill, how to drill. So the drilling contractor has been engaged, the camp has been built, um, the targets have been established, 
And all we're doing right now is moving as quickly as possible to get results to the market. So we're going to have a lot of interesting updates over the next 30 to 120 days. Okay, exciting to hear. You also mentioned earlier about your, you have your own team looking at projects. Becky, you can elaborate a bit about your team, different people with different backgrounds, especially on the technical side, who's looking at the projects too? Sure. Well, a lot of the due diligence starts with myself. I've run a mining service company and I've seen projects everywhere. So if it gets past my early stage eyes, we have my partner, Steve Vanry, who has worked for some of the largest mining companies in the world. And again, reviewing projects and developing them. We have a director, Gary Clark, who has sat on the board of the Ontario Geological Association for decades, one of the more senior people in Canada. So he's another technical eyes. But the most important person from a technical point of view in our asset is a lady named Michelle Robinson. She's a Canadian woman who's been based in Mexico for 20 years. She's worked on this specific asset for the last 10. And so she's on the ownership side of the asset who sold to us, but now her experience and familiarity with the asset makes her an excellent operator. So she knows the social people, she knows the project technically better than anyone. And she's a Canadian qualified person who actually wrote the reports for Vizsla. Mm -hmm. So we have a fantastic lady on site who's a qualified Canadian geologist, lived in Mexico for 20 years, who was heading up all of our development and ad advancement of this Picachos project. Yeah, obviously for short-term investors, there's a lot of exciting news coming out of the drilling results, but also for the longer-term people, uh, what was your game plan in the next 12, 18 months or longer for, for this company? Well, short-term first. In, in the next three months, we're gonna show people that this is a bona fide discovery, that all the historical results which we briefly talked about are accurate that the grade is some of the best grades in the entire area as far as gold and there's a fantastic silver numbers as well so step one we're going to show that uh, step two and what that's called that month three to six we're going to start to prove out that it's actually large enough that the that we have seven kilometers of strike length of uh, gold and silver high grade veins it's quite large what what our game plan is the same as most juniors. Take our company to the 100 to $200 million market cap and interest one of the larger players in who are focused on Mexico, a major. And there's lots of them. Even as of today, where we've had numerous offers of interest, not, not, not deal terms or anything yet, but people saying, wow, we're familiar with that project and you're gonna drill it quite quickly. Uh, can we follow along? Can we stay up to date? And can we at some stage enter some discussions on a partnership. So we're looking to show everybody what we believe is the next best asset coming out of Mexico in a Canadian junior stock. Okay, so my quest, final question to you is, uh, we know that the junior market get a bit of a head start in the last couple of months, got some good early run, but why do you think that your company is still undervalued or compared to other of your junior companies uh, in the marketplace? Mm -hmm. I think it comes down to market cap versus asset development. We're, a f we're about a 15, one $5 million Canadian market cap sitting on a project which has shown that technically and grade and with high grade gold and silver wise, the numbers are there. And what's happened recently in this market is drill results in this area are being rewarded. There's no reason to believe that we will not get rewarded as well if the project comes up the way we think it's gonna come up. So exposure to gold and silver in your portfolio is always important. To eliminate a little bit of risk, maybe avoid things which are grassroots and unproven, and focus on companies which are moving aggressive and have cash in the treasury to do it with no financing issues. So I believe we're at the right place at the right time with the right share price for investors to have a look. And if they made some money on Vizsla or if they've seen other companies go from 20 cents to $2, see where they were, see where our were, where we are, talk to their investment advisor, get some independent advice and make up their mind if they think that Brigadier Gold is the next one. Thank you for your insight today. Uh, thank you for your time and being with us.
I'm sure after this interview, some of the others who haven't heard about your story will probably start uh, following your company in the next few months. Thank you very much, Gilbert. It was a pleasure. I look forward to updating your audience again shortly. Thank you, Lajit. Bye now.